I once heard the following wisdom. Most unhappiness comes from the narrative of our mind and not our actual circumstances. And it, what that means to me is that our mind, which is obviously a very effective tool that, that allows us to survive and to grow and, and to, to become who, who, who we want to become, many times it could hijack us. It could allow us to think of things that aren't good for our growth, i.e. trying to always com compare ourselves to other people. Our mind tells us you should be getting this, you should be getting that, you, you know, always look, look, looking towards the future or focus or dwelling on the past and not living in the moment. If we live in the moment, the present moment, and not focus on so much of uh, the chatter in our head, then we truly could be happy because our actual circumstances is, is amazing. In this week's Torah portion, we learn that one of the greatest blessings that we can get is what? Is la We eat our bread with satisfaction. And Rashi says what that means is, is that even though you eat a little, our intestines, which whatever, our body is, is totally joyful, is, is totally satisfied. And that means even if you eat a little, you don't have that much, but you're satisfied for what we have. Is, is, that's the ultimate blessing. And you see people out there that don't seem to have much, but they seem to be so happy. And on the contrary, people who have so much are always nervous and anxious to maintain what they have or what they want more. Why is that? Because they're, they're, they're lacking that, that inner happiness of what they have. It's the mind that, the narrative of the mind that always wants more and more. And if we could just have that awareness that it's, it's, not, it's not about the, the quantity, rather the quality of our life, that, that truly is the greatest blessing. Shabbat Shalom.